One reason it's hard to catch up to Tesla is that the company is always making improvements. It doesn't matter if its electric cars are already the ones that sell the most. It doesn't matter if its EVs already have some of the best safety ratings. If there's a way to make something better, Tesla will make it better. That means its factories as well. In today's video, we will look at Giga Texas and how it is managing to produce over 10,000 Model Y units. The question is, will this benefit the company? And how? Today, the Fremont factory is the most productive vehicle plant in the United States. However, it is Tesla's least efficient electric vehicle factory in the big picture. Gigafactory Shanghai is the company's largest factory in terms of output, and Giga Berlin is also pretty efficient, even though it seems to be held back by red tape all the time. As Tesla's new headquarters and its newest factory, the building is expected to be the best one yet. The ramp for Giga Texas is expected to be quite fast, but it has to face some problems first. However, if claims from Tesla's most recent Gigafactory are to be believed, it will fundamentally alter how cars are made. With ambitious plans for new Tesla automobiles and innovative technology like the 9,000-ton Gigapress, Texas might be Tesla's newest launch site. Elon Musk has his sights set on a much larger market, and his real objective is to upend the entire auto industry. Currently, less than 1% of Texas's automobiles are electric. Thus, reaching the goal of 20% will be an enormous challenge. Scalability is crucial because of this. Tesla must create millions of cars quickly if it wants to compete seriously with conventional cars. This change will need significant effort, technology, and capital. But well, this is Tesla, and they can surely afford this. Fortunately, Tesla doesn't lag on any of these runs and is taking the challenge head-on. So after the launch of Giga Texas, the aim of having millions of Teslas on Texas roads might be closer than you think. So how will the most recent Giga factory enable it all? Hold up, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic, First, we should look into the most recent, amazing news coming out of Texas and what the future holds. Giga Texas recently announced a new milestone. The official Tesla Twitter account said that the electric car factory in Texas has now made its 10,000 Model Y. The company shared a picture from the celebration of the small but important step on the way to a much higher volume. That's impressive, especially considering Giga Texas started selling cars to consumers at the Cyber Rodeo in April. The report from Tesla doesn't give much information about how many cars are being made each week. Since April, when it was first shown off, it has been in series production. But at first, there was no news of Model Y being sold there. CEO Musk explained later that this was because Tesla was waiting for machines from China to first switch production in Texas back to standard construction with battery packs from 2170 batteries. The new Model Y version with a structural battery pack and 4680 cells was made first. Before Tesla started offering the new version to people who already had a reservation for a Model Y near Giga Texas, the first deliveries were set aside for employees. As you may recall, towards the end of 2021, Tesla moved its corporate headquarters from California to Texas. There were several factors, but some sources claim that California's stringent COVID-related regulations hampered the company's operations. Similar to how California's maximum corporation tax rate is 8.84%, while Texas is only 2.7%. Musk's decision to move his company from California to Texas is expected to save him about $2.5 billion in capital gains tax. Texas officials provide Tesla with $65 million in tax rebates and other incentives to build Giga Texas in addition to the usual economic benefits. Elon Musk acknowledged the benefits of moving to Texas in terms of employment. In Texas, hiring people is cheaper and simpler. The relocation took place last year and analysts have already dubbed Texas the new China for Tesla. Despite the typical challenges faced by Western manufacturers in China, they went above and above to serve Tesla. 
Since the Shanghai Gigafactory currently accounts for over half of Tesla's output and a quarter of its sales, the city has set a 15% tax rate on the corporation to encourage business. This is significantly lower than the average 25% rate for China. Tesla spent more than a billion dollars on the site, utilized more steel to create it than the Empire State Building, and labeled it the biggest building in the world. Yet the factory start wasn't as encouraging as predicted. The reason Elon Musk's legendary production is hell, he wants to construct bigger battery cells, giant packs, solar walls, semi-cyber trucks, and much more. But sourcing everything in the wake of a pandemic and war has not been easy. This is why Elon dubbed his Berlin and Texas facilities as money furnaces not so long ago. The factory is presently just producing the Model Y crossover, but we'll see much more with time. This is just the beginning of everything. The Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, and other Tesla passenger car variants will all be manufactured by Giga Texas. As per Tesla's original plan, the Texas factory's yearly manufacturing capacity will surpass 1 million vehicles. They promise to create a car every 45 seconds and generate more cars than any other country in the globe. Tesla will require large production space to carry out these objectives. The largest Tesla plant in the world is now located in Giga, Texas, as previously reported. Its floor space is significantly larger, and its footprint is equivalent to 15 city blocks. But they are not content to stop there. Tesla has already submitted the necessary paperwork to add 68 acres to the production area. This demonstrates Tesla's dedication to making Texas its permanent home and the site of its massive auto manufacturing. Without a doubt, Tesla will be able to produce roughly 2 million vehicles yearly as early as 2024, adding a million vehicles at the Giga Texas plant to the already increasing output figures at the Shanghai Giga factory Fremont. Despite the supply problems, production bottlenecks, and delays, Tesla has already reaffirmed its intention to boost output by 50 yearly. Without the Berlin and Texas Giga factories, they generated more than 900,000 automobiles in 2021. We may, therefore, confidently assume that the 2 million figure is a reasonable estimate. The next task for Tesla will be to figure out how to make that expansion conceivable now that the numbers have been crunched. New technology will be this expansion's key component. Tesla's newest Gigapress, manufactured by Italy's Hydra Group, will be their most potent weapon in this regard, as we have seen in the past. Tesla has already had remarkable success producing the Model Y rear end with a smaller 6,000-ton Gigapress. However, the Cybertruck won't be produced by Tesla until 2023, while other items like the Tesla Semi and the Optimus humanoid robot won't be produced until the beginning of next year. Therefore, it will be interesting to see how Tesla calculates production statistics this year. We are aware that Tesla now has the biggest advantage over drivable. This is the level of interest in electric cars. The switch to electric vehicles is occurring faster than anticipated, and all major automakers are vying for market share. However, they will not catch Tesla anytime soon. The declining car sales compared to Tesla will be a major worry for traditional corporations. Tesla sold more vehicles in the first quarter of 2022 than the so-called luxury brands in the US. In detail, Tesla sold 113,882 vehicles during the year's first quarter, outpacing BMW by more than 33,000 units. Tesla was the only significant brand with rising sales. Tesla sales increased by 59% while BMW, Lexus, and Mercedes all saw declines of up to 21%. Tesla, therefore, does not face a demand shortfall. Their production has always been a concern, but now that Giga Texas is operational and the new Giga Press is prepared to perform miracles, the game seems to have shifted. Tesla taking over the world is now more of a when question than an if one. The fact that Gigafactory Texas has made its 10,000 Model Y is a big deal. The building is still very new, so it's not nearly as well run as the Fremen factory or the Gigafactory in Shanghai. Since Giga Texas seems to be getting stronger, it wouldn't be surprising if the factory could make 5,000 vehicles per week by the end of the year. 
But is that possible? Do you believe Tesla will meet its production goals? Comment down below. Also, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Goodbye.